Hey, um, sorry I was a couple minutes past five minutes because for some reason the only place in my house that has any natural light, I always lose connection. So hopefully I don't while I'm doing this video. Um, I'm a little red because I just did my workout video for 21 Day Fix. Um, disclaimer, these videos might be just a little longer than five minutes if I'm jabbing. But for all of us that are trying to be consistent with working out, it's just not working out for me. My one video of the 21 day fix a month is not helping. So I'm really trying to be consistent and do a video every day. We'll see how long that lasts. I don't think I'm going to make it 21 days. So anyway, I'll just give you all a minute if anyone wants to get on and watch. Um, but I'm going to show you today actually a different foundation. I'm going to show you our powder foundation. That way you can kind of see the different options for coverage that we have. Uh, so I guess I'll just go ahead and get started. You have catch up. I always start with our primer, of course, fills my lines, pores, and wrinkles, makes me have a flawless look. So I put about a pea-sized drop on, and I'm going to go ahead and wipe that up. And again, you do want to let that dry, because I Okay, so I'm losing connection again. Let me see if I can find a better spot to set my phone. Sorry, you're so close to me. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> yes, Rebecca, I can definitely help you. I mean, I just do quick makeovers, but it does make a huge difference to put a little bit of foundation on. So my stuff's over here, I'm gonna grab it. One second. Hopefully this one will stay. Um, but yeah, I'm sure Midnight's does not help your skin, since my husband being at Midnight's doesn't help me either, with my lack of sleep. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that, hopefully this will stay. Okay, so, I just put eye primer on, uh, for my eyeshadow, and I put my face primer on. And now I'm going to go ahead, because my primer is dry, I'm going to put my foundation on. If you ever drop your foundation, if you use powder foundation, you ever drop your, um, compact, my, my sister, so smart, she's like, put it in a little container. So, I did. I didn't have to waste it at all. And it fits perfect in here. And I even used the little hole on the cover to kind of dab off the extra. So, anyway, this is our powder foundation. Um, I'm very oily, so normally I only use powder. With our liquid foundation, though, I find it dries to a powder. So, I really, um, I don't have a problem using it. Sometimes I like to put powder over top just to keep myself from getting oily throughout the day. Um... But if you're extremely oily and you're not somebody who wants to try the liquid foundation, this is the powder foundation and it gives a great amount of coverage. So I'm going to do this. I just thought in these videos I'd show you the couple different ways that I use the foundations. I have the um, BB cream, I have the powder, and I also have the liquid foundation. Okay, so my base face is all done. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadows now. I'm going to use the Addiction palette again. That way if I use this a few times and someone decides to order it, they know how to use it for more than one look. I'm going to do kind of the gold tones. So I'm going to do the Brassy and Swanky and Zealous. Kind of the same way I did it yesterday. So I'm going to start with Brassy. So that's that goldy color. And I'm just going to do that all over my lid. You can see it's a really pretty shimmery gold. Okay, so brassy, I'm going to kind of do that all over, just a little bit above into my crease, but that's kind of a bright color to go all the way up for me. So, brassy all over the lid on this eye. And I'm using the liner shader brush, um, which is awesome, it's two brushes in one. And I do use the liner side, and I'll show you at the very end how I use that. Okay, so there's just brassy. It's the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and go in with swanky, it's like that one right there. I'm going to do this standing up. So, and I'm going to do that from the middle of my eye over. So I don't really do that in the corner because I like to keep my corners with this look pretty bright. Hopefully y'all are seeing this because I still said I had a weak signal. <laughs> okay, so that's swanky on the middle to the outsides of my eye. Same on this side. Okay. And you can see how pigmented it is. I mean, it's so quick and easy to use because it's so pigmented. Then again, I'm going to use my blending brush, and I'm just going to do Zealous, this dark brown sparkle, the one on the end, in the outside and up onto my crease. 
depending on how you like it, some people will bring it up onto their brow bone, some people will just stay in the crease. Just kind of depends on the look you like. And I don't use a ton of this, just a couple dabs. And again, like I said, with the right brushes and the right tools, I mean, this is quick and easy and pretty simple. Oh, the last thing I usually like to do with this look, I actually take the liner side of the brush and I go into Zealous again and I just kind of get some of that on there. And then I like to go under my eye. So it's not quite as harsh as using a pencil, but it helps to kind of define my eye. And I only take that about halfway. I don't go all the way because that'll close off your eye. Okay? So that's how I use the eyeshadow palettes. Then I throw on eyeliner. This is the same I used yesterday. It's the proper because brown eyeliner looks really good with gold and brown shadows. So I'm just going to throw that on. It goes on super nice and smooth so it's super quick and easy to use. I promise I'm not giving you the finger, sorry. <laughs> Alright. So there's the eyeliner look. Just quick, quick, and easy. I look so pale, so I definitely need to add some bronzer. Again, the bronzer comes in three colors. I have it in Sunset. And I actually am just using the same brush I use for my blush. Which... And you're going to do your temples. You're going to do kind of your contour here. You're going to do your jawline and your neck. Okay. And then your nose. And this lighting is really kind of goofy. It's making me look more pale. I don't know if I can move the phone at all. It's like weird lighting. Yeah. Eh, my connection's weak. What's new? Okay. So there's my bronzer. Then again, I like to use this pink blush for the summer. It's the color Stunning. And I just need two dabs. Because it's very pigmented. Okay. Obviously, I need my 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, which comes in the two tubes. I like to open both and hold them in my hand like this. Um, thanks, Kathy. I miss you. <laughs> So I like to hold them in my hands like this and have them both open. That make, it makes it easier for me. Man, I'm weak from all those planks and that 21 Day Fix video. My hands are shaking. Oh, I need it though. I had too much cheesecake this weekend. Cheesecake, cheesecake last weekend. Bad idea. Alright, so there is oop, my transplanting gel. Let me get that out of my nose. There we go. The good thing is once you have the primer on, sometimes it makes it here to move around. Okay, then I'm going to do my fibers. So you remember you want to do those mid to tip. You don't want to go all the way down your lash line and you want to focus on the outside as well. And these are going to thicken and lengthen your lashes. Again, I like to do that, let it dry. So I'll go to the other side. Get out of the way. And like I said yesterday, I always have a hard time getting my, once my hand doesn't move in an angle, I can get that corner. There we go. Okay, so then I want to do my fibers on this side. And you might be afraid when you see the two tubes and think, oh man, I don't want to have to do that all the time. It's going to take forever and, you know, something like that. But really, it's just as quick as using one tube of mascara and it gives you amazing results. I mean, you can see my lashes before I even did the second coat. Now, finish off with your transplant gel. And again, if you're going somewhere like a wedding or somewhere where you want like really dramatic results, you can layer this. So I could do another layer of fibers and another layer of transplanting gel if I wanted to. Okay. All right, so there's my lashes. And I'm actually going to show you how quickly I can sometimes get my brows done too. I can usually do it within the five to six minutes that I get ready. Because um, I like to focus on this part because that's where I really lack on my eyebrows. So even if I can't get all of it in perfectly, if I just do some light strokes and then finish off, I mean you can see how quickly I can at least make 
to the difference. <laughs> So add some eyebrows in. And I use the brow pencil in light. If you are a light blonde um, and have very light hair, light's probably good for you. If you have anything brown and above, I'd go medium or dark. Dark's going to have a lot more black to it. So. All right. So there's my brows. It was really that quick. I like to spoolie them. Kind of put them in their place, you know. And then the very last thing I'm going to do, if I can find where I said it, oh, right here, is my, are my lips. So I like to use this lip liner because it brightens a lot of the colors up. It's perky. And again, you never want to just do the outside of your lip. You want to kind of fill in your whole lip. So I like to do the outside like this. And then you're going to kind of fill in. That way when your lipstick wears off, you don't have this weird outer line that you would have if you only lined the outsides. And our uh, pencils are waterproof and smudge proof, so it'll help your lips have color all day. And in honor of my cousin Anna, who just ordered this lipstick with her rewards that she got for her party, she threw with me. Um, it's upscale, I'm gonna use this today with my liner. It's like a light pink peachy color. And I like our lipsticks because they're really moisturizing and they actually are really long lasting. They don't rub off kind of right away like some lipsticks do. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And I mean, if you were doing it without jibber jabbing like me, it would take you about five minutes. So the Addiction Eyeshadow Palette number one, I used the powder foundation today instead of the liquid to show you that. Um, my eyeliner is proper, it's a dark brown. I use upscale lips, I use the perky liner, and light eyebrows. Oh, Stunning Blush and Sunset Bronzer. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good night.